Hi beautiful people, how have you been? I hope you've all been doing great. Although some of you may have been through some shitty stuff recently, just like what I have, but it's all right. That's what I'm here for, right? That's what, what my videos are for. It's getting pretty late because it's already 11, 12 p.m., but I still just got a lot of good stuff stored up in my head that I gotta let out to whomever that might find this video helpful. That really helps me feel better about myself, about my life, because when I make videos that, you know, might be helpful to anyone, I will gain this satisfaction, gratification from it. So thank you. Thank you for watching, for being here. Anyways, today I want to just kind of introduce this new concept that I just learned, which is called radical forgiveness, which means that you gotta forgive in order to let go of the emotions and life experiences or some people that have been haunting you non-stop, making your life such a painful experience to have. Here, let me explain this. Everyone goes through shitty stuff, maybe to different degrees, but we all have been there. We might struggle at dealing with things. Maybe you got bullied at school. Uh, maybe you got ridiculed by other peers because you wear some knockoff brands, shoes or whatever, where you have a, a messy hairstyle or whatever. Maybe you got ditched by a lover that you started to fall for so deeply. And maybe you got cheated on by your long-term partner or you got scammed by your business partner or employee or whatever. Things like these. So when these things happen to you, how do you process pain and the suffering that's so hardcore that you find really hard to let go? First of all, to practice radical forgiveness doesn't mean that you have to forgive the things that people do to you that cost you the pain. You don't deserve those things. Nobody deserves things like those. And people should not be forgiven for doing things like those and thinking that that was okay to cost such misfortune on other innocent individuals. But what I mean by radical forgiveness is first you gotta forgive yourself for letting others hurt you, for giving them the opportunities to hurt you because you didn't know better. You didn't have the knowledge at the time or uh, you were not in the best position to defend yourself, to stand up for yourself and protect yourself from getting hurt by those people. So you gotta forgive yourself first. Stop saying, if I did something, I wouldn't have gotten myself into this kind of situation or uh, I could have done better. No, that is not the attitude for you to have now in order to really let go of the negative emotions. Because the first step towards freeing yourself is to you gotta forgive yourself for having gone through the shitty things because, you know, it's just part of living. Sometimes getting hurt so much isn't necessarily an entirely bad thing because by going through tremendous sufferings and pains, you were hurt so much to the extent to which you were propelled, forced to look inside and pause just to study yourself, to reflect on yourself and the environment that was around you and the people that you dealt with so that you could analyze your life and the experience the people so that you can truly learn and grow. You will be able to become a more profound person. In the grand scheme of things, if you want to achieve something great, you will have to go through some hell first, for sure. That's for sure. There's no shortcut for that. But I'm not saying that if you've never been through some major traumas or setbacks, you're any less. It's just um, we as humans are spiritual beings. So each one of us has different life missions and we tend to become more and more aligned to our destined self in order to one day be able to finish those life missions one at a time. Believe it or not, everyone has different missions. So everyone has different path. And for those who have not been through some shitty stuff, major shitty stuff, and seen the worst of human natures, then you are the blessed one. You're very lucky and should take pride and um, be happy about your life. Whereas for those who have been through some fucked up stuff situations, Remember, you are the chosen one. 
you are doomed to do things that are great once you are able to identify、uh, the meaning behind you going through all those fucking shitty stuff. You are propelled to exercise your ability to survive in this vicious world. Your skills will get harnessed each time you pull yourself through that. So that is the message that I want to pass out here.、But、basically, everyone in your life is an angel sent by God to teach you a lesson of a sort. Maybe some of those angels will present you the lessons in the way that you find most unpleasant. However, the message, the essence, remains the same. You got to be able to identify what are the lessons that the God wants you to learn, and what can you do to absorb these information and make them work for your purpose, for your ability to finish your life missions and life goals. That is how you get to elevate yourself to a higher ground、uh, when you come across shitty stuff and shitty people. How you handle the situation in order to pull yourself out of the dilemma and、um, just kind of see things at a higher ground, so that you will be able to detach from those overwhelming. Uh, hurting feelings. So forgive yourself and forgive those who are in your life that maybe made your life a little bit more miserable. Because remember that their presence are from a place of love by God. Whether you're religious or not, that is the logic and the moral of the story. Is it all depends on how you perceive your life and the misfortunes that you've been encountered. So that is my two cents on how to cope with these things when they get south. How to deal with the pains and the sufferings that people might have inflicted on you. I hope somebody might find this video somewhat helpful. And if you have any further questions, please just leave a comment below to discuss with me. And I would love to answer you whenever I see the comment. Well, thank you for listening. Please just stay strong and beautiful. I love you. See you in the next. Video. Bye.